When you are asked for the bond angle in a molecule, what your teacher is actually asking you to do is draw the Lewis structure and then predict the Vesper shape. That's the shape of the molecule because the shape of the molecule is going to be what tells you the bond angle. Let's draw the Lewis structure here. Boron trifluoride is BF3. Boron brings three valence electrons each and fluorine brings seven each, but there's three of them. That's 24 valence electrons total. I'm going to put B in the center, surround it with fluorine atoms, connect it with single bonds. That gives me six of the electrons total, but I need 24. So I'm going to fill the outer atoms so they have a complete octet. You ready? That's 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Oh, and I am out. That's it. If I had extras, I'd put it on the center atom, but I don't, so I won't. Now, often, like if this was carbon or something, you'd need to complete the octet, but boron is one of the exceptions to the rule. It is satisfied with just six electrons around it, and you are done. This is it. So, I've got my Lewis structure. What is the Vesper shape here? Well, I have my central atom, A. That's just the Vesper notation. I have three atoms around it, that's X3, and I have no lone pairs on that center one. You can write E0 if you want, or you can just leave that off. Your job is to know what the shape of this is, even if you don't recognize the notation. The answer is, if you have three things attached and they're all atoms, it is called trigonal planar, and all of these atoms are equally spaced around each other. So you have this circle, of space around the boron, and these three F's are all divided equally amongst it. When you divide a circle into three bits, that 360 degrees gets broken up into three 120s. That's how you're predicting the bond angle in this case. It's a little more complicated for tetrahedral, which is generally like 109.5 degrees, etc., etc. Point is, it's 120 degrees because it's a trigonal planar molecule. Now, if you're asked about ALF3 or ALCL3, it's actually not that because of the way that ALCL3 packs together. I know AL is in the same group as boron, but it does something differently. They pack together in some kind of weird octahedral ionic lattice. Don't take this video that I made for you and apply it to aluminum halides. It just won't work. BF3 only. Best of luck to you.